Hi, Christy here from MyScrapbookEvolution.com. Today I've given myself a challenge to work with photorealistic papers. Those are basically papers that have a picture of something real, rather just a pattern paper image. This new line, Ocean Melody by Webster's Pages, has a blend of pattern paper prints and real pictures of real life objects and scenes. So today I'm going to be working with this beach print and my goal is to actually scrapbook about how my son's sandbox was like having the beach at home. So I'm using this very much in a symbolic manner. I've also chosen this block to use as the title. The first thing that I notice about the paper is that there is this horizon line and I've decided that I'm going to work along the horizon line and build an L shape or bracket type formation. Now I could place my photo on this side but it covers up a lot of the bokeh print especially since I don't want the title block on the side I'm going to put the title block on top of the photo. So this covers up a lot of the bokeh print. So I'm just gonna simply shift this over. And what that does is I still have this lovely bokeh print. You can see the beach a little bit and you see the sky and you know that this is the sun shining down. Now what I need to do is to start building the page up vertically and then going back and forth between the vertical and the horizontal to fill out the space. I've chosen this strip of pattern paper right here and that is going to be my main vertical strip. So let's go ahead and adhere that down. And you'll notice that it points inward towards where the pictures are going to be. I already have an idea of where the picture is going to go, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive in the middle, and I'm gonna place that down. And the same with the title block. But now I need to start filling things out. I'm going to place this strip across here and that's going to go as I said back and forth between the vertical and the horizontal. But what I want to do is actually slip it underneath. I'm just going to cut it apart a little bit. And the other thing that I've done off screen before I started, I went ahead and inked my pattern paper pieces with this opera pink paper. I'm kind of going with a light pink, a hot pink, and a turquoise uh, color palette today. So I'm just going to stick this under here, lift this up a bit. And I'm not going to stick it down hard because I'm going to be sticking other elements underneath it. To start with, I'd like to use this doily and I'm going to stick it under here. Now what you're probably going to start to notice is that there's a lot of weight over on this side here. and I need to add some more weight or something to balance at the top. I have this piece of doily left over from another project and that's going to be perfect to stick right here. Just kind of lift that up and slide it underneath. So now it's starting to balance this off. But I need something to fill this space. Now initially I thought about a solid sheet of pattern paper and I even considered just sticking these gold hooks underneath. But this doesn't really provide the proper sort of weight 
for the layout. It's just, it's too heavy, it really doesn't go. And if I used a pattern paper, I would again cover up the book of print. So I chose to go with vellum. And I'm just going to slide this underneath. The vellum will house my journaling. And it's also it's not quite cooperating. There we go. It's also going to fill this block. can get it to stick down the way I want it to. There we go. So you see how I can still see the bokeh print underneath, but it sort of fills the block. Now we're noticing that it's a little bit too heavy here on the top and I need a vertical strip to go underneath here to balance things out a little bit. I'm just going to lift this and slide it underneath. There we go. Now I'm going to be able to start adding my title and my embellishments. My other challenge with the product I chose today is that the only embellishments I have for this Webster's Pages line are these little stickers. So I'm going to try to use something from here, but I've also grabbed a few things from my supplies to try to fill things in a little bit. Now as far as the title, I want it to say The Beach at Home. And I've considered a couple of different stickers here. One gives it a little more dimension, the other gives it sparkle. And I think I'm going to try for the dimension. Because a lot of the elements I've chosen to embellish it with don't have that dimension. So it's going to say the beach at home. There we go. So now that I've gotten the title just the way that I want it, I can start adding in my embellishments grabbed a couple of items that are older and I'm not sure how exactly I want to place everything. I'm considering using this palm tree here. It's clear. These are called Glimmer Glass. They're an older product by Tattered Angels. And I can flip it back and forth as I need to. Actually, it may work very well just like this. And so it provides a little more dimension, but you can also see through to the layers beneath it. I've got some of these older flare badges from Freckled Fawn. They're from my Oh Dear Me kit. And they have a house on them, and I can use the house motif because I'm talking about being at home. So I'm just going to place a couple of these items around on the page to see how they look. Some of the items may not end up working out, which is just fine. There we go. If I do something like this. And it may work out that the stickers I have that go with the kit just aren't quite what I'm going to need for today, and that's okay. I'm 
place a few different items here to see how they go. And some of them that I pulled just don't quite work out at all. It looks like this is probably going to be my completed page here, something along these lines. And I'll just need to fill in my journaling. Okay, so I've come back in and I finished my embellishing and I just wanted to go over a couple of things with you. I ended up adding some gold washi tape because I felt like the page needed a little bit of sparkle. I also added this gold German foil anchor. Um, now these are only available in the JBS Mercantile monthly kits which I get every month. Um, sometimes they're in the main kit, sometimes they're in the antiquarian kit. I added three hearts and that gives me a visual triangle. I also added some enamel dots. I just layered things up a little bit. I did add one of the stickers from Webster's Pages and I put it on a little bit of chipboard to raise it up and I moved the palm tree over. Again you can still kind of see through the palm tree but it has an element of dimension to it. Thank you.